good evening everyone welcome to another lecture of wireless network today we are going to see wireless sensor network so what is wireless sensor network basically in wireless sensor network a large number of sensor node are deployed in a given area so if we compare the sensor network with ad hoc network what is the difference between sensor network and ad hoc network as we have seen in the previous lecture ad hoc network is consist of two or three computers or mobile uh, mobile unit are talking to each other so if we compare this sensor network with ad hoc network we can say that in sensor network number of node um, can be several order of magnitude higher than the nodes in ad hoc network sensor node are densely deployed sensor nodes are limited in power computational capabilities and memory as compared to ad hoc network sensor node are prone to failure while well, in um, ad hoc network as the node is consist of mobile or laptop so uh, the uh, chances of failure are less the topology of sensor network uh, uh, network changes frequently sensor node mainly use broadcast while communicating they may broadcast the message but in ad hoc network basically it is point to point communication or you can say peer to peer communication what are the applications of sensor network sensor network basically used in many applications some of them are listed here it is used in military application uh, to check battlefield surveillance battle damage assistant nuclear biological chemical attack detection it is it is also used in um, environmental applications such as forest fire detection flood detection precision agriculture it is also used in health um, application tracking and monitoring patient and doctor inside a hospital drug administration in hospital tele monitoring of human psychological data it is also used in home automation and smart environment managing inventory control vehicle tracking and detection so these are the some applications of a wireless sensor network the next topic we are going to see factor in influencing sensor network design so what are the factors we have to consider before deploying any sensor network that topic we are going to see before that we'll see what is the architecture of sensor network so sensor network basically consists of a mode mode is called as a sensor node there are several mode are deployed in the given area and this mode are talking to each other wirelessly a uh, one mode is connected to uh, internet that mode is called as a gateway or sync node or mode so you can see here in this given area there are several uh, nodes are deployed and they this node are talking to each other and this field is called as a so this field is called as a sensor field so this is the gateway and this is these are the nodes and these are talking to each other wirelessly if there is any problem over here they will find their uh, own way to reach to the destination so if any problem is there and if there is no connection connection is uh, broke between two uh, mode or there is any problem to any one mode they will find or route the data so in this uh, case the routing algorithm is most important um, algorithm to find a shortest path and to reach to destination so now we'll see our uh, factors influencing sensor network so what are the factors we need to in uh, we need to consider before deploying any network any wireless sensor network so first we'll see a uh, fault tolerance capability of sensor network scalability hardware constraint sensor network topology environment transmission media power consumption capability of that sensor network so fault tolerance fault tolerance is ability to sustain sensor network functionalities without any interruption due to sensor node failure as we have seen in the previous diagram that that if there is any node is failure suppose this node was a failure so it will automatically find the um, next path or shortest another shortest path so that is the fault tolerance capability of any sensor network scalability scalability major the density of sensor node so i have told you several sensor node are there in the given area but a density of that sensor node is depend upon this formula so mu of r equals to n into pi into r square divided by a 
where capital N, this is number of scattered sensor, number of scattered sensor in the region A, R is the radio transmission range, and uh, this mu is number of known in transmission radius, where A is the area. So again, uh, there are several sensor networks are deployed in the given area and they are working for specific applications. So cost is very important factor. What is the cost of single node? On the basis of that, the uh, sensor network cost is depend. So the most challenging thing is, uh, what is the cost of one sensor uh, node? The next important factor you need to consider is hardware constraint because that sensor node is consist of, this is the a component of sensor node which is consist of power unit, sensor, ADC, analog to digital converter, processing unit which is consist of processor and storage. This is trans receiver unit which is acting as a transmitter as a receiver. This is the antenna mobilizer and location finding system. And uh, as the sensor node, the most important thing is uh, it doesn't have a power so you can use the power backup, power generator or solar um, generator in order to provide uh, power to sensing unit, processing unit and trans receiver. Uh, then the another factors you need to consider what is the software you are using or operating system you are using. For wireless sensor network, we use TinyOS as an operating system. Another factor is what kind of topology are we using, pre-deployment, and a deployment phase, post-deployment phase, redeployment, additional node phase. For example, if there is any failure, uh, what will be your topology, pre-deployment, before uh, before uh, lay down your network, what is your topology, after, if anything happened, what is your topology. Environment is another factor where you want to um, deploy the network, the network may, you want to deploy, maybe um, inside a home, or maybe in the um, bottom of ocean, or um, uh, maybe inside the fast moving vehicle. So environment is also an uh, influencing factor while designing any sensor network. Next is transmitting media. If you want to transfer or receive whatever the data has been sensed by your sensor, you may use radio as a trans receiver medium, infrared or optical media. So that is the another factor you need to consider before deploying your network. And the most important thing, while deploying any sensor network is power consumption because power is required for sensing to communicate whatever your data you have sensed and data processing. So communication architecture of sensor network is consist of, uh, uh, this is the typical sensor network in which there are a very sensor network are deployed and the sensor network will sense a data or gather the data and they will uh, proceed this data to their central um, uh, central controller and from central controller it will proceed the data to the central controller and the center or control or you can say sync node or you can say gateway will process the data to internet so this we have seen the brief introduction of wireless sensor network in next lecture we'll see protocols or a protocol architecture of wireless sensor network thank you